Nominating Donald Trump would make the 2024 election about his legal troubles rather than the nation's ills under President Joe Biden, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said Tuesday, hours after Trump appeared in court to argue he's immune from prosecution. DeSantis appealed directly to undecided Iowa Republicans, particularly those who like Trump but are seeking an alternative, less than a week before they cast the first votes of the 2024 election season, portraying a Biden-Trump rematch as a risky bet. For Republicans, it raises the issue for Republicans, what do we want the 2024 election to be about? DeSantis said in a Fox News town hall in Des Moines. If Donald Trump is the nominee, the election is going to be about legal issues, criminal trials, January 6. It'll be a referendum on him. Trump would uh, imperil Republicans because it would make the 2024 election a referendum on Trump and not a referendum on Joe Biden, the economy, the, the state of the country as it is right now. Represented more Jews being killed than at any time since the Holocaust. Israel's not just fighting. We had Nikki Haley here, the former governor of South Carolina, and at one point she said in terms of the... With so few days left until the caucuses and with DeSantis facing very high expectations in Iowa, he's kind of laying it all out there saying, a vote for Trump is, is a vote for Biden because people do not want to go back to the chaos of, of the Trump days. I mean, you know, it, it's tough for me to take uh, something from somebody that goes to another state. But, you know, the former president, Trump, who, who said he was pro-life, he attacked pro-life legislation. He said that tonight in light of Trump appearing for uh, a hearing in Washington, D.C. about uh, the January 6th case that he faces, uh, where he is seeking immunity from prosecution as a former president. What do you say to that, sir? Well, I mean, I, I think that with all due respect, uh, uh, we delivered the state of the state address to open up the legislative session. We did a briefing at the emergency operations center. That being in the news prompted the question uh, to DeSantis of how, you know, how this affects the election. It raises the question, how will voters view a Trump candidacy? And DeSantis's answer is uh, as, as a referendum on the former president who faces a litany of um, criminal and, and civil charges uh, in, in courts in New York, Washington, and Florida. Um, in Texas, we've spent $12.5 billion, $12.5 billion out of our budget in Texas to do travel around with them. Governor DeSantis. Okay. Uh, well, thanks so much. Uh, thanks to Bob. Thank there's a lot of people that want to vote, you know, for Republicans. Um, but I think that there's a lot that that, that, that are not going to do the Trump stuff. That's just the reality. And like, you know, we can sit there and and try to deny it. But that's been true in all these elections going forth. If we're right on the policies uh, and we have people that don't like the current direction, the worst thing you want to do is run a candidate that even though they don't like the direction, they're still going to stick with that direction because of things that have nothing to do with the underlying issues. I think that's the story of the 2022 midterms. And that's one of the reasons why uh, you know, I'm running, because I think I'm the guy that can get us where we need to go and then, uh, then actually deliver um, you know, as, um, as, as Republicans. Out, it's great to be back in Cedar Rapids. You know, as a Floridian. Yeah. Couple, okay, ready, right here. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yep. But I think the, the choice on the 15th is clear. Uh, Donald Trump is running for his issues. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.